What's going on guys? Derek here back with another episode. Um, so first things first, we finished the escape of the tank. Leo's new tank, let me focus that real quick. Yep, finished the escape of the tank. Everything's looking great. Um, there's some white stuff growing on the wood, which is perfectly fine. That means the bacteria is established and the tank is basically cycled. So you're probably wondering like, Derek, how did you cycle a tank in only a week? Well, I started with API's quick start. Hold on. Right after I set the tank up, put API's quick start in there, right? And then you drop a little bit of fish food in there and that'll start the bacterial growth cycle. Now, I also took some rocks, some gravel from Hank's tank. Um, my red devil still need to post the video of rescuing him. Um, took some of those that already had bacteria on them and I put it in the tank. That jump starts the cycle and makes sure that it is good to go. Now, Leo over here is getting monstrous. He's like half the length of this 20 gallon. Um, so, I'm gonna put him in the 55. Now, one other reason I'm putting him in the 55, jeez, I always do that. One other reason I'm putting him in the 55 is that the, I walked in today and like this isn't the first time I've seen him do it, but he keeps jumping, like freaking out and jumping and hitting the lid. And it just takes one, one time for me not to see it and he accidentally either busts through the lid or goes through the little gap in the lid and then on the floor and dies. So. Although I don't have a lid for this yet, um, I have something I can put over it until tomorrow when I get a lid, but um, he'll have more space and he won't get stressed out as easily. Now, another thing, another precaution that I'm gonna take to make sure that the ammonia doesn't spike, or the ammonia is gonna spike, but I'm gonna take the filter from that aquarium and also put it on the back of this aquarium just to make sure all that good bacteria is in there and nothing bad will happen because um, I might have told you guys this a while ago, but I had a bluegill with Leo, his name was Reggie. I put him in the 75 before it was cycled and a, he unfortunately died. Um, so right now, I'm just gonna scoop up Leo uh, with a net, put him in a bucket, acclimate him for 20, 30 minutes, uh, just because the water parameters are probably a little bit different. Um, and then, should be good to go. I will see you guys like over over there. Like, like right, right there. Alright, so I'm gonna take the lid off. And I need to fill up this bucket with his water. Um, and then I'm gonna take that outlet because I need more or that power strip because I need more outlets. But um yeah, I'm gonna fill this bucket about halfway. And then hopefully everything goes well. power strip over the tank so I can get that beneficial bacteria in the 55. Lots of beneficial bacteria on this guy. When you net a fish, you always, always, always want to wet the net first so it doesn't take off any of their slime coat or damage their fin. So I'm going to dip it in the bucket that already has his water. All right. I'm so nervous, guys. And then he's going to jump, so 
I gotta be very careful. Alright, he's in the bucket. Whew. Stressful. Now over the course of 20 to 30 minutes, I'm gonna dip a cup of this water into his water. So I'm gonna put on a timer, and then I'm gonna slowly acclimate him to the water in this tank. guys I got the camera set up on the tank and now after 20 minutes of acclimation um, the water temps were very similar they're probably two degrees off but the heaters running and they felt somewhere when I was putting my hand in so they should be good besides Leo's a very hearty fish bass from the wild you know what I mean all right so make sure your net is wet when you scoop him um, he is going to get everything wet right here Oh, jeez. I know, I know, buddy. And there you go. Welcome to your new home, bud. He's freaking out a little bit. All right, so he's going to be a little stressed out. Okay, that's just natural. Um, now, one thing that I do want to put in there is... Microtube Life Lift Night Out 2. That's not going to focus. But um, this stuff, I'll take a picture of it later. This stuff is starter bacteria and it'll help with any ammonia spike that'll uh, be in the tank. He's breathing very heavy as well. So I'm definitely going to put some stress coat in there as well. Um, Night Out 2 first and then some stress coat. Now, 55 gallons, 5 milliliters per 10 gallons, so I'm going to put 25 milliliters into the tank. He's up near the surface right now, just chilling. Now I have API's stress coat right here. Um, I'm just gonna put it in to make sure the water is safe and he doesn't get too stressed out because um, he's freaking out a little bit right now. So I'm gonna put two cups in. I think I should put more, like five cups I should. Or no, two cups is going to be 40 gallons, so two cups will be fine. But I'm going to monitor this guy for the next hour or two, so hopefully... I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I'm hoping that he'll be fine. Um, but it's not looking terrible right now.
you go guys. We put Leo in the 55. He's doing just fine. He's a little stressed out, new environment. Hopefully, overall, it'll be better for him. He's gonna do fine, he's gonna grow big, and then he'll eventually be in the 125 with Hank. Now, um, I'm gonna supervise him for the next couple of hours. Uh, the light is on currently, but I'm gonna turn all lights off so that he's not too stressed out because that helps reduce the stress of the fish. But um, he's looking good so far, and I will keep you guys updated with his progress. Um, I'll just put some shots of him at the end of this video, and then um, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.